the 27 most mysterious sites on the planet. Egyptian pyramids, Stonehenge, the underground city of Derinkyu, the oldest temple in the world, all these sites carry immense mysteries of humanity. It is rumored that these places were once inhabited by aliens or hold undiscovered secrets. Let's explore the 27 most mysterious sites in the world and guess what secrets lie behind these sites. Number 27. Tikal, Guatemala. Surrounded by dense forests are the impressive remains of this Mayan site, which has been inhabited for about 1,500 years. The ancient city had 90,000 residents and entered a period of population explosion. Its most famous feature is its large temples with stepped pyramids, some of the tallest pre-Columbian architectural structures in the Americas. You can climb many steps to get a spectacular view and due to Tikal's remote location, you'll feel incredibly peaceful enjoying the scenery here. The natural environment here has remained unchanged for about 1,300 years, however, the inhabitants of Tikal disappeared in the late 10th century, and the reason for this remains a mystery. Number 26. Pyramid of Djoser, Egypt. The Djosa Steppe Pyramid is one of the most mysterious structures in the world. Built on the Giza Plateau, many researchers believe that this ancient site was built by Pharaoh Djosa, the third dynasty king of Egypt, about 4,700 years ago. Djosa is considered the most famous pharaoh and the founder of the third dynasty of ancient Egypt. This pyramid is the burial place of Pharaoh Djosa and is a large complex. One of the most mysterious discoveries is the southern tomb with a temple. It has tunnels similar to those found under the pyramid. However, what lies beneath is still an unanswered mystery. Due to weathering and time, the surface of the Djoser pyramid has become rough. Scientists estimate that without conservation efforts, the underground tunnels and areas beneath the pyramid could collapse and bury this ancient structure in decades. Number 25. Megalithic Temples of Malta. Did you know these stunning megalithic temples continue to challenge all beliefs because we cannot determine who built them 3000 BC? These are considered the oldest known structures on Earth, predating the famous Stonehenge and the pyramids of Egypt. In Malta and Gozo Islands of the Maltese archipelago in the Mediterranean Sea, there are many megalithic stone temples. The stone temples in the Maltese archipelago are ranked among the earliest megalithic stone structures in the world and are notable for their diversity in form and decoration. Each complex is a unique architectural masterpiece and is evidence of a unique prehistoric culture famous for its remarkable architectural, artistic and technological achievements. Across Malta, there are dozens of these captivating temples, the most famous being Hagar Qum Temple and Menagera Temple, but the oldest temple among them is the Jandija Temple. Number 24. Carol, Peru. Originating in the Soup Alley in Peru, Nortico is considered the oldest ancient civilization in the Americas. The capital of this civilization is the city of Carroll, known for its magnificent pyramids and many temples, theaters, and grand squares. Until 1990, the full extent of the ruins of the city of Carroll was not revealed, and this city became the most typical evidence of the existence of a complex society formed about 3,000 years ago in the Americas. The center of Carroll has six large pyramids arranged around a giant square. Each Carroll Pyramid has a wide staircase nearly 9 meters wide leading to a series of small rooms including an open courtyard and a temple. The temple room has a small hole in the floor used for offerings. What do you think about this place? Leave a comment expressing your opinion. Number 23. Gobekli Tepe, Turkey. Would you believe that Gobekli Tepe Temple in Turkey predates writing metal tools and even pottery? Gobekli Tepe reminds us of the Stonehenge Stone Circle, however, this temple was built earlier, not made of stones, but from limestone pillars carved with animal motifs such as deer, snakes, foxes, scorpions, wild boars, and abstract symbols, sometimes combined into a landscape. Gobekli Tepe was formed about 11,600 years ago, meaning 7,000 years before the Great Pyramid of Giza. This is the oldest known temple with the first structures that humans built, larger and more complex than the simple huts they once sheltered in. Compared to the Great Pyramid of Giza, Gobekli Tepe holds even greater mysteries. Prehistoric builders stacked square blocks weighing from 11 to 22 tons into giant pillars. They then moved these pillars from the quarry up to the hilltop area, with distances ranging from 100 to 500 meters. What do you think about this? I wonder how prehistoric people moved these stones. Leave a comment expressing your thoughts. Number 22. 
Durinkyu Underground City. Built thousands of years ago, Durinkyu is considered the largest underground city in the world. Durinkyu in Turkish means deep well. The Durinkyu Underground City has a system of tunnels and interconnected rooms. The structure has been used almost continuously for thousands of years, with a depth estimated to be the deepest in the world today 80 meters, 18 floors, with a capacity of up to 20,000 people at once. The inhabitants here used large rolling stones to close the city from the inside, defending against enemy invasions. The ventilation system of the Durinkyu underground city consists of over 15,000 shafts extending down to the floors, ensuring air circulation up to the eighth floor. The upper floors, closer to the ground, were used for living and resting, as they had the best ventilation. The lower floors, deep underground, was mainly used for storing food, warehouses or dungeons. The middle floors of the underground city were used for various purposes such as wine presses, livestock, monasteries and small churches. In the past there were more than 20,000 people living here, and this is the largest underground city and consistently used for thousands of years until the 1920s. In addition to connecting the floors of the city, archaeologists also found a passage over 8 kilometers long connecting Durinkyu to another underground city, K. Makli. What do you think of this underground city and would you like to experience it? Please leave a comment. Number 21. Nazca Lines, Peru. The Nazca Desert, located along the coast in southern Peru, is famous for its ancient artworks deeply carved into the earth. The images here include humans, fish, birds, insects, lizards, dogs, cats, monkeys, trees and flowers. Some images are more supernatural, including two-faced humanoid creatures and giant, man-eating two-headed snakes. It's believed that these mysterious white lines in Peru were created around 500 years BCE. They lie about 400 kilometers south of Peru's capital, Lima, and are thought to have been created by the Nazca civilization between 500 and 200 BCE. There are about 800 straight lines, 300 geometric shapes, and 70 drawings of animals and plants, some of which are up to 370 meters long. The mystery surrounding these lines is that some believe the Nazca lines were created to attract extraterrestrial beings, but this theory remains unexplained to this day. What do you think about this idea? Number 20. Machu Picchu, Peru. Located on a mountain ridge at 2400 meters above sea level, Machu Picchu is an iconic UNESCO World Heritage Site of the Inca Empire, a lost city of the Incas built in the 15th century. Despite being a well-known destination, little is known about the construction and history of this city. The Incas had no written language, and the city had been abandoned long before it was discovered by the West in the 1800s. The site is famous for its stunning scenery and sparkling granite stone ruins built without any mortar, Today, Machu Picchu is recognized as a World Heritage Site and is one of the most iconic examples of Incan architecture. Are you impressed by the breathtaking beauty of Machu Picchu? Feel free to comment your thoughts on this magnificent ancient site. Number 19. Angkor Wat, Cambodia. The largest religious monument in the world, Angkor Wat is part of a vast complex of temples in northwest Cambodia, comprising 12 major temples and numerous smaller ones. With its pinnacle of Kama architectural style, Angkor Wat has become an icon of Cambodia, appearing on the national flag and being the country's top tourist attraction. Number 18. Mohenjo-Daro, Pakistan. As one of the major cities of the Indus Valley civilization, the ancient city of Mohenjo-Daro is located in present-day Sindh province, Pakistan, estimated to have been built around 2500 BCE. This ancient city features streets, a carefully planned drainage system, warehouses, public baths, temples and palaces. It is estimated that about 40,000 residents engaged in agriculture, craftsmanship and trade once lived here. Mohenjo-Daro is a testament to the civilization of the Indus Valley. The architectural style and cultural characteristics of the city demonstrate connections and exchanges with other regions. Excavations have unearthed many seal impressions with various animal motifs, including lions, elephants, rhinoceroses, and camels from Africa and West Asia, indicating trade and exchanges between the local people and other places in the world. Number 17. Newgrange Island. Newgrange was built around 3200 BCE, predating the Bronze Age in Ireland. It is one of the oldest stone structures in the world. Originally, Newgrange was constructed as a tomb for gods and leaders. It was later used as a place of worship and one of the important religious centers of the region. 
Newgrange resembles an ancient burial mound built as a massive earthen mound. However, scientists believe it also had the significance of a sacred temple. From December 19th to 23 each year, the sun aligns directly with the passage opening on the roof of the temple, illuminating the entire structure miraculously. This annual event attracts thousands of visitors every year. Visitors to Newgrange will be impressed by the intricate carvings of ancient people on the ancient stone slabs. The characteristic symbolic images here often include circles, spirals, arcs, dots, or V-shaped motifs, simple yet unique. Additionally, visitors will enjoy moments of relaxation immersed in the peaceful surroundings of the New Grange area. Would you like to visit this beautiful scenery? Please comment below to let me know. Number 16. Baalbek, Lebanon. Baalbek is a city located east of the Latani River in the Bekaa Valley of Lebanon, 85 kilometers northeast of the capital city, Beirut. It is the capital of the Baalbek Hamel province. Baalbek is home to the Baalbek Temple Complex, including two of the largest and most magnificent Roman temples, the Temple of Bacchus and the Temple of Jupiter. It has been recognized as a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1984. It seems that the city of Baalbek has been inhabited since 9000 BCE. This impressive ancient city has seen it all, evolving from a mere agricultural town to one of the most important religious sanctuaries in the region. Both the Temple of Bacchus and the Temple of Jupiter follow Roman architecture and are both magnificent temples. However, outside the temple, there is a massive stone block lying there, measuring 19.6 meters in length, 6 meters in height, 5.5 meters in width, and weighing about 1,650 tons. Part of the stone block is buried in the ground, with some traces of cutting and drilling on its surface. The purpose of this stone block remains a mystery. Some believe it was brought by the Romans or a previous civilization to build a building or a monolithic statue, but for some reason it was never completed. However, what baffles many is how they could transport it here. Do you have any explanation for this? Please comment below. Then let's move on to another interesting ruin. Number 15. Palenque, Mexico. Dating back to 226 BCE, Palenque is one of the lost cities of the Maya civilization known worldwide. This city boasts the preservation of some architectural structures and sculptures of the Maya civilization. It is known that archaeologists have only uncovered 10% of the settlement area, with the rest of Palenque remaining an unanswered mystery to this day. Number 14. Prambanan Temple, Indonesia. The Prambanan Temple was built in the late 9th century, and is a symbol of the prosperity of the Hindu Mataram Kingdom. The temple complex consists of 240 small and large temples built specifically for the Hindu Trimurti, meaning the three main gods Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Each main temple is built with unique and exquisite architecture, reflecting the extraordinary creative skills and creativity of ancient people. The architecture of Prambanan Temple is a perfect combination of artistic beauty and construction technique, the temples are built from andesite stone with intricate carvings depicting Hindu gods, mythology and the daily life of the people. Prambanan has one main tower and eight surrounding smaller towers, surrounded by hundreds of other smaller towers. The most prominent feature is the main tower, which stands at 47 meters tall, symbolizing both the strong ascent and the benevolent aspirations of humanity. Number 13. Mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang, China. Qin Shi Huang was the emperor who founded the Qin Dynasty, the first unified dynasty in Chinese history. To prepare for the afterlife, Emperor Qin began the construction of his mausoleum in 246 BCE. After 38 years of construction with over 700,000 skilled workers and craftsmen, this mausoleum complex was finally completed. The mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang was discovered in 1974 in the city of Xi in Shenzhenxi province, China. The underground mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang stretches 260 meters from east to west and 160 meters from north to south. With a total area of 41,600 square meters, it is the largest mausoleum in the Qin and Han dynasties, equivalent in size to five international football fields. The central area of the mausoleum is believed to resemble a palace and is where the emperor's body and many treasures are located. This area covers two-thirds of the total area, and the mausoleum also contains burial sites for the emperor's concubines with 48 small tombs found. In addition, archaeologists have discovered 98 rooms adjacent to the area of the terracotta army. 
After over 2200 years, the mausoleum of Qin Shi Huang remains nearly invincible. The biggest discovery about this mausoleum is the terracotta army consisting of over 2,000 clay warriors, along with chariots and bows. The main reason why people have not continued to excavate this site, but keep it a secret is due to feng shui factors and potential traps that may be encountered inside the tomb. Number 12. Moai Statues on Easter Island, Chileil. You may recognize the Moai statues on Easter Island, even if you have never heard of them before. Anyone who knows about these Moai statues, please comment below. Easter Island covers an area of about 165 square kilometers, located in the South Pacific, about 3,700 kilometers west of the coast of Chile, and about 4,000 kilometers east of Tahiti. It has been part of Chilean territory since the late 19th century, and its economy relies mainly on tourism. Easter Island is known to many tourists because of about 900 ancient stone statues called Moai scattered across the island. These iconic statues, mostly facing the sea, were carved from volcanic tuff by the Rapa Nui people between around 400 and 1,500 CE. The Moai stone statues on Easter Island remain a mystery to humanity. There have been many conjectures about the purpose of creating the Moai statues, how they were built, and the role of these statues in the Rapa Nui civilization on Easter Island for hundreds of years. To this day, scientists still struggle with questions about the significance and how to move these giant statues around the island. Do you have any reasonable explanations for this? Please comment your thoughts below. Number 11. Petra Jordan. Located about 185 kilometers southwest of Jordan's capital, Amman is an ancient city carved into the rock with natural beauty and magnificent architecture. This ancient city that attracts tourists from all over the world is none other than the ancient city of Petra. Known by its ancient name Rechem, Petra was the capital of the Nabataean kingdom of the Nabataeans, Semitic people who spoke Aramaic. Situated in a strategic location for trade, it lay on the trade route connecting Western Asia and Egypt in ancient times. Its period of prosperity occurred about 2,000 years ago with an estimated population of 20,000 people and magnificent structures, theaters, tombs, temples, and more. Surrounding it were lush gardens irrigated by a sophisticated system of canals, dams, and reservoirs. In 1812, Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt discovered and introduced the world to the beauty of Petra. Petra is renowned for its temples and tombs, mostly built on the outskirts of the city, above the main street. Some tombs are simple, containing many burial holes in an undecorated stone tomb, while others are intricately designed. Looking at the ruins, it's hard to imagine the glory days of this place, isn't it? What are your thoughts? Please comment below. Number 10. Stonehenge, England. One of the most complex and perplexing structures is undoubtedly the Stonehenge Architectural Monument in England. Stonehenge is a megalithic monument located in Amesbury, England. First discovered in the 1620s, Stonehenge was built around 3000 BCE, consisting of earthworks surrounding a circle of stones, each stone believed to be capable of producing sound when struck. Each year, numerous tourists from around the world come here to admire its beauty and ponder how these stones were arranged so precisely without any modern tools or techniques. The origin of the Stonehenge monument remains a mystery to archaeologists and historians. Number 9. Taiwanaku, Bolivia. Taiwanaku is an ancient city located southeast of Lake Titicaca in western La Paz, Bolivia, discovered by historian Pedro Siaza de Leon in the 16th century after it was abandoned for centuries. It was one of the... Based on remaining traces, archaeologists believe that people inhabited the area around Taiwanaku from around 1500 BCE. During this time, the city of Tiwanaku became the political and spiritual center of the region. The most mysterious aspect here is the Gate of the Sun. It's called the Gate of the Sun because on September 21st, the autumn equinox each year, the first rays of dawn always shine down on the ground in the middle of this stone slab. The question of how the Taiwanaku people accurately calculated the relationship between the sun's rays at the equinox and the position of the Gate of the Sun remains unanswered. Not only the Gate of the Sun, but also the stone cutting technology in the Taiwanaku Temple area reached a very high level. The most famous is the Kalasasiaya Temple Complex, surrounded by a rectangular stone wall, with slabs weighing up to 130 tons and only one entrance gate. No one understands how the Taiwanaku people built such precise structures. Number 8. 
ancient capital Teotihuacan, Mexico. Teotihuacan is an archaeological site in Mexico. It was a massive urban center and once home to about 100,000 people. The city was abandoned about 1,400 years ago and later taken over by the Aztecs. The modern name was given by the Aztecs and means the place where the gods were created. Although it's not known who built it, Teotihuacan is home to the Pyramid of the Sun, one of the most beautiful pyramids in the world. It was built by hand over a thousand years before the Nahuatl-speaking Aztecs invaded central Mexico. By the time the Aztecs found the city in the 1400s and named it Teotihuacan, the city had been abandoned for centuries. To this day, much of the origins, history of formation and culture of Teotihuacan remain a mystery. Number 7. Cliff Dwellings at Mesa Verde National Park, USA Mesa Verde National Park is a national park located in the southwest of Colorado at an elevation of 2,600 meters above sea level, USA, thus a national park established in 1906 by President Theodore Roosevelt to protect the best preserved cliff dwellings in the world. Mesa Verde is the largest archaeological preserve in the United States, covering 814 square miles, with many ruins of houses and villages that once were long-term settlements of the Pueblo civilization, where the Pueblo people created a settlement civilization on cliffs and lasted 900 years. Built from the 6th to the 12th centuries, this park has 4,400 archaeological sites, including villages built on the top of the mesa and stone houses built into the cliffs with nearly 600 houses, including Cliff Palace, the largest cliff dwelling in North America. The special archaeological sites of Mesa Verde are evidence of an ancient Native American tribal culture in North America, reflecting the ancient life of the ancestors of the Pueblo people in the southwestern United States. UNESCO recognized Mesa Verde as a World Heritage Site in 1978. Number 6. Moreau Pyramids, Sudan Located in the vast desert of western Sudan, along the legendary Nile River, the ancient Moreau Pyramid complex is extremely special yet not widely known. Situated in the ancient city of the same name, the Moreau complex was built around 7203 00 BCE, Within this pyramid complex are tombs of kings and queens. The architecture of the pyramids is influenced by Egypt and Greece. The pyramids at Moreau range in height from 6 to 30 meters, with most of their entrances facing east to greet the sun. The pyramid peaks are sharp, with frontal entrances resembling sturdy gateways. Within the archaeological site are also temples and small shrine areas. Most tourists visiting Moreau in Sudan are puzzled and don't understand how ancient people could build such magnificent structures without the need for machinery, especially with the pyramids built from large stone blocks. Moreover, the engravings, intricate patterns and carvings on the stone are all very sophisticated. Number 5. Plain of Jars, Laos the Plain of Jars is one of the most important prehistoric sites in Southeast Asia, scattered across the Muang Phuan Plateau near the town of Phon Savan, Xi'an Quang Province, Laos. Isn't it strange that all these sites are jars? Let me know in the comments. In the Plain of Jars, Laos, approximately 2,100 stone jars dating from the Iron Age are found scattered across various locations in Xi'an Quang Province. The Plain of Jars impresses visitors with the scattered stone jars, seemingly without any specific pattern. These jars come in different shapes, some with round mouths, some with square mouths, some large and some small. Each jar size varies, some are tall and slender, some are squat and broad, etc. These jars create a mysterious atmosphere in this place. To this day, the time of the appearance of these stone jars remains a mystery, but the plain of jars in Laos is estimated to be about 1,500 to 2,000 years old. Additionally, the materials used to make these jars are also controversial. Some say they are made of limestone, while others say they are made of granite and jade mixed with some ancient materials that no longer exist. Number 4. Hegra, Saudi Arabia. Built from the 1st century BCE to the 1st century CEE, it boasts numerous rock-cut tombs prominently set amidst the vast desert landscape in northwestern Arabia. In 2008, UNESCO recognized it as a heritage site, becoming Saudi Arabia's premier world heritage site. It was chosen for the well-preserved artifacts from the late ancient period, especially the 131 grand tombs carved from stone with intricately decorated facades of the Nabatean Kingdom. The most famous among these is the Khaza al farid Castle in the city of Hegra, impressively perched on a wide sandy plain. Unlike other castles, Khaza al farid is used as a tomb. 
the area around the entrance frame can display the names of those buried there. Images of phoenixes, eagles and snakes encompass the familiar cultures of distant civilizations such as Greece and Egypt. Number 3. Great Sphinx of Egypt One of the most famous landmarks in the world is the Great Sphinx of Egypt. The Great Sphinx, standing nearly 20 meters tall and over 72 meters long, is one of the largest and oldest sculptures in the world. The Sphinx is a mythological creature with the body of a lion and the head of a human, considered a benevolent being that protected the pharaohs in the land of Egypt. The two biggest mysteries revolve around when and by whom the Sphinx was built. Scientists agree that it was built around 4,500 years ago during the ancient Egyptian kingdom period when the Giza pyramids were built. Number 2. H. Volsey, Greenland. The largest and best preserved North European ruins in Greenland are found at H. Volsey, near the town of Kakatuatok. These ruins are the stone church of Alsi, one of the few remaining relics of the Viking, Northern European, civilization. Dating from the 12th century, it was built by the family of Eric I Northern European family in Greenland. The church consists of two stone halls and 14 separate houses. What do you think of these Viking ruins, or do you want to visit them? Leave a comment below. Number 1. These luxurious mansions, especially the Apadana Palace, built in 515 BCE and taking a very lination of materials and the talent of craftsmen across the country. The white stone columns, the fortresses bearing the mark of the Luoyang and the bas-reliefs raised on the stone with the Persian style, mixed with the